Travis Kelch hasn't been spotted since his highly publicized brief relationship with pop singer Taylor Swift. Two days after she witnessed him triumph with his team over the Chicago Bears at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, the Kansas City Chiefs' tight end, 33, was seen making his way back to his house. After a practice, the professional football player made his way home alone with shorts, a long-sleeved tee, and a baseball cap that was turned backward. Taylor, 33, was spotted boarding her private aircraft hours earlier as she left the city after spending time with her new boyfriend. The six-foot-five-inch tall professional athlete received a delicious Uber Eats order delivered to his house for a post-workout supper shortly after arriving home. After Taylor, who was reared in Ohio, attended his game, their rumoured romance was officially announced on Sunday. It's unclear when the two started going out, but Travis had stated on his New Heights podcast in July that he had hoped to meet Taylor when he went to one of her era's tour stops. She has to save her voice for the 44 songs she sings, so I was upset that she doesn't converse before or after her performances. As a result, I was disappointed that I didn't get to give her one of the bracelets I designed for her. Taylor intensified their burgeoning romance by showing up by herself to support Travis from a box at the game on Sunday instead of with her regular security. Nevertheless, the insiders told the publication that the Lavender Hayes singer's past meetings with the NFL star were in a very quiet environment in order to avoid drawing notice. The sources emphasized that, despite the fact that things are obviously getting hotter between them, the two are not technically dating, and that it appears she is headed towards a more open relationship with Travis. Taylor, the Kansas City Chiefs player, and his parents are getting closer, as evidenced by the fact that she met them at the game on Sunday. The multi-Grammy winning musician was seated next to Travis Kelch's mother, Donna Kelts in a lavish suite at Arrowhead Stadium. His father, Ed, was also present. Throughout the game, Donna and Taylor joked around and supported Travis by applauding him any time he scored a touchdown. First meetings with parents are frequently anxious affairs, but according to the sources, this one went very well, with Taylor particularly impressing Donna, who described her as a lovely person. Taylor has met Travis's parents already, but she hasn't yet met his brother Jason Kels, who plays for the Philadelphia Eagles and hosts the New Heights podcast with his sister. Jason Kelcher is yet to be introduced to Taylor. After the game on Sunday, Taylor and Travis seemed to keep their PDA to a minimum as they made their way to the prime social rooftop in Kansas City, but once they were there... Bystanders saw them holding hands. She sat in his passenger seat as they drove his classic convertible to the restaurant. When Taylor allegedly sat on the football player's lap at one point, the PDA intensified. The meal was only marginally private because Travis's family, including his mother Donna and some of his teammates, also attended. Previously, an eyewitness claimed to Entertainment Tonight that Travis had reserved the restaurant for the after-party. Taylor showed there wearing a denim dress and was spotted munching, sipping cocktails and dancing with Travis, according to the report. Another customer told E.T. that they were informed by restaurant staff that there would be a hard close at 8 p.m. and that they would need to depart the premises earlier than that. The wait staff then gave them to-go boxes. To lessen the difficulty, free beverages were provided at the restaurant's sibling establishment, although some customers reportedly inquired as to whether Travis and Taylor were involved in the shutdown, the employees reportedly kept their mouths shut. The two have allegedly hung out together several times over the past few months, according to sources with direct knowledge of the relationship who spoke to TMZ on Monday. Although Taylor and Travis appear to be steadily moving towards a committed relationship, their hectic schedules in the coming months may make things more difficult. Travis will be concentrating on the Chiefs' games as they attempt to reach the Super Bowl in February. Taylor will resume her demanding tour schedule in the interim 
and will add an international leg in mid-October after a run of U.S. appearances.